<laughs> okay, okay, good, good. Um, okay, awesome. Good morning, good morning, everyone. Happy uh, Friday, happy blessed and joyful Friday, beautiful people. And so I'm on live. It is my first time on an Instagram live. Uh, it's really weird. <laughs> God had uh, put this on my heart today. Excuse the background noise. I am um, currently at work. Um, I didn't want to leave yet. Um, God gave me a word um, to share, a word of encouragement. And so this is my first time and I've already done prayed and everything. And so um, I continue to pray that God have his way during this word. Um, and so, yeah. And so um, the month of September is a month of birth, you know, giving birth to something, whether that be a, um, whether that be you walking in your relationship with God, um, asking God for something new. Um, hi, Olivia. Um, so whether that be you asking God to do something new in your relationship with him, um, taking you to higher heights and deeper depths, whether you're asking God to give birth, um, to help you give birth to a book, to a business idea, something that you've been waiting for and it has been delayed. Now is the month to birth it, that God is going to give you the strategies needed. He's going to give you the resources, the people that you need to connect to so that you can give birth to that thing. Right. And so. I find that when God calls us to give birth to an idea, when he calls us to give birth to something, um, we go through a lot of warfare. We go through a lot of fight. And some of us have gotten stuck in our pain rather than pushed to our purpose. And so God is telling you today, don't get stuck in that area of pain. Don't get stuck where you feel like you can't fight, where you feel like you're defeated, where the disappointment and the discouragement and the pain and the heartache that you went through, even the betrayal that you went through, don't get stuck there. Don't get stuck on the, you know, what it should look like, what you wanted and what didn't happen. But but move forward so that you can walk into your purpose and I find that a lot of us are getting stuck in the pain when God has so much greater for us when God has so much that he's doing in our lives so much that he wants to do so much elevation so so much um, that he wants to take us um, how he wants to elevate us and take us higher in him but we're getting stuck in that pain point and we're getting stuck and wondering you know, God, why is this not happening for me? Why is that not happening happening for me? Why is everyone else succeeding, but I'm not succeeding? Why, why do they have the books out, the business out? Why are they running it a bit better than I am? And God is saying, I have plans for you, but you're getting stuck in your disappointment. You're getting stuck in your discouragement. But if you look to me, I'll take you to the next level. If you look to me, I'll give you the grace. I'll give you the strength that you need. I'll give you the resources. I'll be your Jehovah Jireh. I'll make provision for you but we're getting stuck in that pain and so this morning I want to encourage you to come out of those dry places to understand that God is with you and if he's with you then who can be against you to know that the enemy may try the weapons may form but they will not prosper against you because God has given you all authority he has given you all dominion he has given you all power to tread upon the serpents to tread upon the enemy and so I want to encourage you to come out of that pain to come out of that hiding place to not to come out of that place where you feel like God is is against you that God does not have greater for you that you're forgotten or abandoned by God when really that is not the case allow God to give you a new vision a new insight of the way that you see him of the way that you see yourself sometimes we're going with rejection and insecurities and we see ourselves and our circumstances based on those things rather than we look to God and say God you told me I'm blessed you told me I'm a conqueror you told me I'm an overcomer you told me that I can do all things through Christ and so you need to push through to walk into your purpose. I remember when I was writing my first book and God told me, you know, write your book. And I was writing my book. And every time I wrote in my book, for I believe it was from the first through the fifth or sixth chapter. Every time I wrote in my book, there was a flood that came from the, the bathroom that was next to my room and went into my room. And what did I do? I could have gotten mad. I could have gotten disappointed. I could have complained. But I picked up my laptop and I said, you know what? I'm going to take this laptop and go into my mom's room and I'm going to finish this book. And lo and behold, now I'm going on my fifth book. And that is because I have prayed. 
pressed and I have pushed and I have fought. Don't get stuck in your pain. Come out of that pain. Come out of that. Come out of those dry places. Come out of the complaining. Come out of the it didn't look like what it should have looked like. Come out of the expectations that you put on God that you weren't even supposed to. And believe him to do what he desires to do in your life. Say yes to his will and not your will. You see, our will gets us disappointed. When we think um, God is supposed to operate in this way or that way, that can get us in a place of disappointment and discouragement. God, I wanted it in this timing. You should have gave me the job in that timing. You should have given me the car in this timing. I should have the husband in this timing. Or I should have the wife in this timing. And God didn't do it. And so because God didn't do it in that timing, now you're upset. Now you're in contempt. Now you're holding God in contempt. And so I want to encourage you to come out of the pain, to step into purpose. And remember, when you're on the verge of breakthrough, when you're on the verge of giving birth, the enemy is going to now try to distract you with more of your pain. He's going to try to put flashbacks in your head. Well, didn't God say he would do this? Didn't God say he would do that? But when you're on the verge of breakthrough, hi, Samantha. But when you're on the verge of breakthrough, um, you're going to experience high level warfare. But if you faint not, it's those who do not faint. It's those who do not give up that God does a miracle, that God pushes them into breakthrough. And so I just want to encourage you this morning to push from pain to purpose, to give birth to what God wants to do in you, whether it's the book, the business, the YouTube channel, and to not silence your voice. Many of us has the enemy silencing us. When you share your testimony, when you share what you're going through, the enemy does not have any power. It says we overcome him by the word of our testimony. So come out of those dry places and do what God has called you to do. Stop staying stuck. Stop saying you're stuck. You are not stuck. You're on the verge of your breakthrough. You're on the verge of giving birth. But if you faint, you will not see it. If you quit and give up, you will not see it. If you listen to the naysayers, you will not see it. If you continue to think that you're less than, you will not see it. Change your view. Change your lenses. Change your perspective. Start to see yourself the way God see you and, you, and even if your circumstances does not align to what God promised you, it does not mean that you should have um, a heart of giving up. It does not mean you should complain. It means you should push even further. Pray until something happens. Many of us have given up on prayer. We have given up on fasting. We have given up on seeking the face of God. And God is like, if you would just push through, if you would just know that I'm for you and not against you, if you would just know that you're on the verge of it, but we got stuck in the pain. So so let's come out of that pain and into purpose and so this is my first time on live but this is the word that the Lord gave me um I am gonna go into work now but I definitely wanted to share good morning sister curly good morning uh, Samantha good morning good morning and thank you for joining I am going to try to save it I do not know how to save it it's my first time but I will see you all later thank you so much for joining in bye